Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my March wrap up. So y'all, like I said in my, well, like I'm going to be saying in my April TBR, I recorded these videos as backwards. I recorded my April TBR last night, but I didn't want to do, I was going to wait to do my March wrap up today because I wanted to do while Khalil was awake because I wanted to do my Caterpillar Corner too. But I waited too long and now she's sleeps. so Caterpillar Corner is still not going to get filmed today anyway. But anyway, I tried to wait till the sun was out a little bit, but it's like, um, it's almost 7 o'clock and it's not really that bright anymore. And I got off at 2, so I should have this video a while ago, but um, my mom called me, so I was on the phone with my mom. And then um, I was doing applications for my for medical assistant job and I need to go, and I'm not even finished. I think I have like three or four more positions to do applications for, but I wanted to film a lot of summer style a little bit because otherwise I should have just filmed this last night. And I know I love it. <laughs> A mess. I know I do. Like I'm not even sure if my hair is all down or not. And I know I probably, I know I have bags under my eyes. I know because I feel them. But um, I wanted to film this video so I can edit this and get this up to you guys. Maybe like tomorrow because I do try to space my videos out like two days apart. So maybe I'll like upload it tomorrow. But I think I want to edit both of them tonight. Get them out of the way so that I can just go ahead with uploading. But anyway, in the month of March, I read a total of four books again, which I have been on a roll with these like four books a month. And I set my Goodreads goals to 30 books and I think I might have to up it, but I might not. Because I didn't think I was gonna read 30 books. I didn't think I was gonna be reading at the pace that I'm reading at this year. I don't know, this year is just like, I don't know, I feel refreshed with my reading, so I've just been on top of it. And another thing that, makes, that has been making me read more is I requested like a lot of books from that galley. Like, I was, at, I just like requested a bunch of them at one time, but I wasn't paying attention to how many books I was requesting to review. It's just I got on there and I was like, oh, this book sounds good, that book sounds good, that's not really good. Request, 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 and then one day I just started getting, your request has been approved. Back to back emails, I was like, oh my god, what have I done? So I have like a lot of books that I have to review, and I have like banned myself from going on that gala and doing anything unless I'm putting my review up for the book. Otherwise, I don't go on there because then I start browsing. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. And I find myself almost about to hit the request button. And it's not that it's a, I request like an overload, but I did. It's like a lot of the books that I requested all came out like around the same time in the same month. I had a lot of books that I was supposed to review that came out in March, but I didn't read all of them. So I'm behind on my reviews. And that's probably why I have so many books. Because the majority of the books that I've read this year have been arts that I've got from NetGalley. So um, I kind of have like kind of slowed down with it and I just say well look I'm going to read, I'm going to review them but I'm not going to just rush it to review because I have a lot of books on my shelf that I want to read too. Now that I got that long winded ass explanation out, um, the first book that I read in the month of March and it was also a art that I actually got from the author that I was so excited about was The Wealthy Sheik's Love Triangle and I know somebody told me that it's not pronounced Sheik. But I can't remember how they said to pronounce it and I don't feel like going like back on my under the video to see. But um Sheik is pronounced like another way. I think they said it's pronounced like Shake. I can't remember. But it is by Natalia Banks and oh my god you guys I love this book so much I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars and the only reason I took a, st a, a star away was because I said it was very insta lovey but it was a novella but it was still too insta lovey for me so that's all the reason I took a star away but it was amazing um I put I'll put the Goodreads link below and I will also link the review that I did for it on the eye so you guys can see because I really did enjoy it I really love like the steamy romance novels and that's like what it was so I definitely love that. The second book that I finished in the month of March was a graphic novel that I received from NetGalley and DC Comics Publishing. It was The Suicide Squad Volume 1 The Black Vault by Rob Williams and I love that one as well. But I only gave it, gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I know you're like, if you love, if you love it so much, why do I give it 5 stars? Well, um, I'll, I'll link my review for that up in the eye and that's with my it's a like a, com a combination review that I did with the next book I'm going to talk about. But this one, I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars because I said I really, really love the graphics. But the storyline itself was like boring. 
to me. Like, I didn't like the storyline, but I love the graphics, especially the ones at the end. And I said there's this one particular one at the end of Joker that I really fucking love. And I wish I could, like, copy it and paste it from it, but I can't. I tried. Like, I would love to just copy and paste the picture from the end of it and put it up so you guys can see it, but I can't. Like, I'll try to find it on, like, Google and see if it's up there or something, but I doubt it is. But it was so good and it was just so beautiful. I said I would buy this comic just for the artwork, not even for the story. Like, I would just buy it for the artwork. So I did say I would, I didn't know where I was on the recommendation scale with it because I wasn't, sh because I wouldn't personally buy it for the story. I would just buy it for the art. So I say if y'all want something that's more plot driven and more like story driven, I wouldn't recommend you buy this. But if you're okay with buying it just for the, the beauty of the artwork, then go ahead and buy it and, you know, give it a try because it's very fucking beautiful. But like I said, I'll link the review for it in the eye and also in the description box so you guys can go and check out my review. The third book that I finished in the month of March, which was also a graphic novel and also a book that I got from NetGalley and DC Comics, which is the book that I did with Suicide Squad for the review, uh, and I already linked it in the, in the description box, but it is called The Flintstones Volume 1 by Mark Russell. And I didn't like this one so much. I gave it a 2 out of 5 stars. At first, I was really pumped and really excited for it because I loved the Flintstones growing up. So I was like, oh, I, oh my god, yeah. I was, did not had no idea they was making like comic books for the Flintstones. So when I found out and they had like a whole volume that I could get, I was like, fucking right, I want to see it. My feelings were so hurt because I had such high expectations. Graphic-wise, I did like like the updated the updated version of the Flintstones. Like you know, the original versions of Barney and Fred are like really out of shape characters, but like the updated version, they're like tall and they're buff, and like they're just like they they modernize things, but still it's kind of like it's like modern Stone Age. Like I guess I don't know. I I like that aspect of it, but I only like. I think I said I only liked the first two stories and there were six of them. Yeah, I liked the first two out of six and then it was downhill from there. And I feel like one of them shouldn't even been in it. Like it was like, I didn't like it. But I was like really disappointed. Like at first it was going good with the first two. I was like, okay, yeah, this is going really, really good. And then I got to like the crossroads and I was like, no. I did not like it. And I said I would not recommend you buying it. I wouldn't even buy that just for the graphics. It it wasn't enough in the plot for me to buy. So I wouldn't recommend to buy it. But I did like re looking at the graphics and the updated version. I did have some giggles because of how the play on words were going. With like they kind of like updated. Like it was they kind of like used the updated stores like Target and like stuff like that. But they like changed it so it had like a Stone Age vibe to the word. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I like that of it, but the story itself, I didn't like. Um, me liking two out of five of the graphic novels was not good enough for me to want to pay my money for all six of them. But like I said, if you were to buy, like, individual, um, the individual comics, then I would definitely recommend the first two because I really did enjoy those. I absolutely enjoyed those, so I would recommend those. The last book that I read in the Book of March was Book of March was... <laughs> was also a art that I got from NetGalley and I can't remember the publishing company that I got it from. Sorry. But um it's called Elementary She Read by Vicky Delaney and it is a uh, book one in a series called a Sherlock Holmes Bookshop Mystery and I love this book. I gave this book a four out of five stars. I was supposed to come and do a video review but I never got around to it so I did just like write it on Goodreads. But guys, I fucking loved this book so much and I was so scared that I wasn't gonna like it. This was a good, good murder mystery. The only reason I gave it 4 out of 5 stars instead of 5 out of 5 stars was that um, Gemma, which is like one of the main characters, she was like really started to annoy me because she kept putting herself in these dumb situations. Like it's really irritating when you see these very, very smart people do the dumbest things like you can ever imagine. And that's what what started to irritate me with her because she's so fucking smart like she is smart like like read off a of criminal mind yo like she's like has that memory that he has and she was just like she's smart as shit but she puts herself in the dumbest situations and you can like talk to the book like why would you do that you know how this is gonna look this is retarded don't do that that's idiotic don't do that 
and it started to irritate me because she kept putting herself in a situation to be blamed for stuff and it was irritating me because it's like she's hard-headed and she don't listen and she keep putting herself in danger that's what made me take the whole star off for it but other than that i really enjoyed this murder mystery it was really good i will go buy this book because i do want to continue with the series and i really did enjoy this book and i will link my goodreads description to the review that i did in the description box with it it's not I'm not even gonna lie, it's not even that much. I was kind of lazy after I finished the book to actually put the review in. But y'all, that book I really enjoyed and it was really good. That was like one of the best books that I actually read last month and it was really good. Well, one of the best books that I completed last month and I really did enjoy that book and I would recommend it to you guys to go and read and it came out, I think, March 24th is when it came out. I'm pretty sure that when it is. If it's not, I'm gonna put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that's when it came out. So you guys, that is all the books that I completed in March and I really did, I guess overall, I would say I had a pretty okay reading month. Although my reading speed did slow down last month, like it wasn't as fast paced as it had been in January and February, but last month it did kind of slow down and that was kind of my fault because I didn't read that much last month like I got wrapped up in all of these new games that came out and so I had been playing Ghost Recon the new Ghost Recon that came out and I also got the Just Dance 2017 that had came out but I don't I don't really like it like majority of the songs on that one is old and uh, like most of the songs on this one is like Spanish it's in Spanish it's like it's like those songs like you probably had like maybe eight songs in English on this one and the rest of them are like in Spanish or like these languages that you don't know and I didn't like that because I can't get my dance on if I can't sing along to the words you know I didn't like it so I think I'm gonna go and trade it back in at GameStop because 2016 is a whole lot better like there's like maybe four songs I could really like rock out to like jam out on there and get my dance on but that's not good enough for me to want to keep it but anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.